31 News. All right, so ski season is almost here, and some of us are, are waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Present company included. Most people who ski in Colorado ski at places like, uh, of course, Copper, Winter Park, Vale, a Basin, the, the big resorts, what have you. Yeah, the huge resorts. Some people waiting less patiently, like myself. Right. Uh, what you may not know is there used to be a lot of independently owned ski areas in Colorado that are just no longer open for various reasons. Yeah. Those ski areas at the center of a new documentary called Abandoned. It's really cool. We got Leo Del Piccolo joins us from the Road West Traveled production <laughs> company based in Boulder. They've set out to explore Colorado's lost ski areas in hopes of finding adventure among the ruins. Both of you guys put this together. Good to have you. So why explore the, the ski resorts that are, that are of yesteryear? Uh, I think a lot of it was just curiosity. Yeah. Uh, one day we were out looking for new places to ski backcountry and we found a place on the map that just said Lo or Rock Creek Ski Area. And we're like, what is this place? I've never heard of this place. Uh, right. um, so we kind of did some research and found that it used to be a ski area back in the 30s. Um, and then through some more research, we were like, wow, there's a lot more places like this. And so we just, like, hey, we should go check some more out. We should out. make a movie. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, so as you guys are skiing this, I mean, these are trails that have been closed for, uh, what, best end 20 years, in some cases more. Yeah. You notice them kind of falling apart. Is it almost like skiing in the trees, or is it kind of a mix between the two? I, I think for the most part, we probably tried to stay on the main trails just because it's more open, especially yeah. last year. It's, it's a two-year project, but last year was a little bit of a lower snow year, so uh, some of the trees in these places that don't have all the maintenance is a little trickier, so we stayed on the main runs as much as we could. Grant Robbins, I didn't introduce you in the beginning. You're also a part of this. You guys both put this together. So the picture behind us is interesting. I mean, I see a ski lift. I see chair lifts. Why, the chair lifts are still there almost 20 years later? That seems crazy. Yeah, I mean, the community here at Kuchara has, has uh, fought pretty hard to keep their chairlifts because yeah. they have hopes of one day reopening. Um, and so yeah, hopefully one of these days they'll be able to reopen those lifts and uh, get some kids up there to learn how to ski. So, all right, this is, this is kind of an interesting question. Uh, so you're heading up the chairlift on whatever mountain. You see, oh, geez, beads in the trees, among all sorts of other things <laughs> hanging in the trees. Uh, do you find anything, do you kind of come across interesting stuff like that in the film? I, I, none of the beads. Um, <laughs> we haven't seen any of that, but especially at, at the places still have infrastructure, you'll still see signs of of uh, life at these places when they used to exist. Old telephones. Um, like people just got up and walked out on a yeah, Tuesday and never came back. Especially Kuchara. You walk in, there's still skis. There's old ski gear. There's, wow. wow. There's uh, supposedly there were purses that were left there. We didn't see any of those, but um, unfortunately some of them have been vandalized. And mm -hmm. so hopefully this project does kind of help protect them in a way. I yeah, guess, that's too. the goal here, right? Is to yeah. raise awareness and protect them and maybe bring some of them back to life. So uh, when and where can people see the premiere of this movie? So October 22nd at the Oriental Theater in North Denver. Cool. Um, tickets are going to be $13. And it should be a really fun night. All the proceeds are going to benefit the Friends of Bertha Pass, which is a nonprofit avalanche awareness group. So roadwesttravel.com is the website. You can do pre-sale on that website, right? Correct. Awesome. I think it's fantastic. I mean, it's I think super it's cool. so fascinating. Yeah. And so many people, so many of us in Colorado, you know, we weren't here 20 years ago. A lot of us, we don't, we don't realize that these yeah. resorts or, or mini resorts, if you will, ski areas actually existed. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yes. Leo, Grant, good to see you. Thanks Thank for coming you. in. Good luck Appreciate with the, the documentary. <laughs> we got some places to go ski. Yeah, we do. We've got some <laughs> other spots that you don't have to pay for the pass. You just got to do a little, you know, skin, skin in and ski yeah, out. Yeah, hiking That's up, right. hiking <laughs> up. Let's get to Sam. She's got time to have a trap.